Good morning, everyone. Um, if you guys don't remember, my name is John. Um, I have been MIA off this channel for the last uh, five years or so. Um, I was finishing up college, I was doing a lot with school, started a new career, so um, I didn't really have too much money or time to sink into racing into cars, but I am back, so welcome. <laughs> Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I, it is 6.45 in the morning and I am about to go drive to Fremont from Danville. It's about 50 minutes um, to go to TrackSpec Autosports to get my Army Tricks uh, Veltronic exhaust installed on my brand new E92 M3. Or new to me, I should say. So come along for the ride. Um, I'm going to show you guys the install process because there aren't too many of like too many reviews of this exhaust system on YouTube and John Vo at TrackSpec told me I can come film. So um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we are at We are at track spec right now Super incredibly clean shop The owner John is over there It's the only place that I trust with my cars check out the office Light switch So super clean office They're all about the track stuff as you can see, really good job with the setup. Shout outs to Victoria, John's wife. Incredibly clean setup. Very comfortable for long durations. They even have like a lounge up above their office. Incredibly clean shop. They got Wi Fi. Wi Fi, lots of coffee. They have all, they even like curated a menu book for like food. And you can also look out the window at all of the nice cars. So let's go take a look around the shop. What's up, Grace? coming to track spec for the last um, decade um, they've been open about that long so I was one of their first customers my Mitsubishi Evo 8 was in here literally 24 hours a day seven days a week when I was in college in like 2013 um, so it's been a long time they've grown tremendously I'm extremely happy and proud to call them my friends and family especially John and Victoria they've always taken care of me no matter what my needs are, always, always amazing people. I've never had one issue with the work that they do. So if you guys are in Fremont, in the Bay Area, come down to Tracks by Auto Sports, check out the shop. They'll let you look around at all the cars and uh, come hang out. It's a fantastic, fantastic shop. All right, car there, exhaust over here.
It's a big can. And just like that, the stock can's off. Connections look super clean. Those look good. Yeah. Pretty cool. So where do you have to run the line to? Mm. Is it under the intake manifold? comes off the valve. Comes Are there two the of them? Yeah. Yeah, so two valves. Two, you have, uh, yeah. So it runs all the way inside here. Oh, that Jesus. Way, that way it's protected. Yeah. All the way, exits right here, you see it. Right oh, yeah. Up in there. Mm -hmm. Away from the subframe, of course. You can see. Yeah. So let's route it all the way here, away from Through the, the gas side. tank. Exactly. Jesus. So we're basically following the EVAP line going up. That way it doesn't get to like anywhere that's pretty, moving. pretty hot. Moving or gets hot. Exactly. Yeah. All right guys, so I was just talking to one of the mechanics, Herb, and basically, all of the labor cost and all of the time goes into routing the vacuum line because you have to route it from the two valves in the back on the exhaust all the way through. Make sure you don't hit anything that gets too hot uh, or is moving. Run it along the EVAP, take off the intake, run the vacuum line all the way up un into the engine bay from underneath and uh, go underneath the intake. So that is a majority of the cost that's associated with installing an Army Tricks exhaust because he was done with the regular axle back exhaust installation in about an hour, 45 minutes. So it didn't take him too long to do that, but really a majority of the labor goes into running that vacuum line because you have to make sure you tuck it, make sure it's not going to get cut on anything, make sure it's not going to melt, uh, become a hazard. So that's basically why I've been sitting here for three hours and I think it's going to be about five or five and a half hours of labor total. So, um, yeah. See, this is the fun part. <laughs> yeah. So basically you have to feed a wire into the OBD2, so that just means more this. <laughs> so intake manifold is off. Look at those pretty throttle bodies. There's that. And take my folds over here. So right now Herb is getting the car buttoned back together. It took all in all about six hours of labor down here at track spec. Um, I got a good amount of work done. It's great they have such a beautiful office to come hang out in. But um, altogether, um, he said it wasn't that bad of an install. The only hard part was really routing the vacuum cable. Um, that was very time consuming. That took about two or three hours. And then getting everything taken apart um, to route the vacuum line underneath the intake manifold, as well as run the wire off the um, to the OBD2 port and get everything all buttoned up back together. Um, it's not something that's, this isn't kind of like the run, the run of the mill exhaust install that you would get at like a muffler shop or like if you would do at home if you bought just like a Meisterchef uh, race exhaust or an Eisman or something. It's it's a more involved process because of the Valvetronics, because of the controller, because of the OBT2 control. Um, but yes, it is, it is a good system and everything seems to button up very bolt on. Everything seems to um, be kind of direct install, nothing seems to be that difficult. Just very time consuming. Now hopefully it works when uh, we do the first startup and hopefully the valves work and everything uh, works on the first try. So, cross our fingers. I think it works, maybe. Valves closed. So 
so if you guys can see, there's a valve in there. Got the Army Tricks phone app. Done. You can see the valve opens. So it's the next day, sitting on the couch with uh, my dog Nikita. Um, but I thought I would give you guys some final thoughts on the uh, Army Trick system from like a first impressions, one day living with the system. Well, it works as intended. The app is actually pretty usable. Um, I don't really see myself using it all that often because I have the remote, but it does do like basic data logging, um, code reading, stuff like that. So um, it's it's just kind of like a one-stop shop. You can use it to open and close the valve. You can look at different gauges like water temp, air temp, blah, blah, blah. So it actually is a usable system other than to open and close the exhaust valve. Now. How much quieter does it get? It literally sounds like a stock M3 when the valves are closed, or even a little bit quieter on cold start, which is amazing because I live in a complex right now where um, we are literally door to door with our neighbors and wall to wall with our neighbors, and my garage is literally backed up against someone else's bedroom, so I don't want to cold start the car in the morning and have them wake up. Even the stock exhaust was a little bit loud on cold start. This one, the Army Tricks exhaust seems to be a lot quieter at cold start. Um, so I don't, I, I literally, what I do is I idle the car all the way out of the neighborhood and then as soon as I hit the stop sign at the end of my neighborhood street, I'll open the valve and we're good to go. So would I recommend this system? There are cheaper systems. Army Tricks is on the very high end for stainless steel systems. The system runs about $3,050 as configured, plus shipping and tax. Um, plus the install took a very long time. So I would say this is a very high end system for someone who lives in a community that does not like loud cars like the one that I'm in. I wanted to do the due diligence on my part to buy a Valvetronic exhaust so we don't get a bunch of HOA complaints from neighbors. Um, people staring at me, people getting mad at my car being too loud um, at night when I leave for because I get home and I leave for work at a later hour in the afternoon. So it's one of those things that um, I always feel bad even when I take my motorcycle because my motorcycle is really loud. Um, I feel bad about that. So um, I don't want to be a bad neighbor. So I want to spend the extra money to install the valve. And for some people, you might not need the valve at all. Um, does it sound different than other M3 exhausts that I've heard? I It, it sounds pretty much the same to me. Um, if you've listened to any of the more free-flowing race exhausts, um, like Meistershaft or um, IPE, um, it sounds very similar to those. Um, Keep in mind that I am running with the stock catalytic converters because I didn't want to deal with California smog because um, that's where I live currently. But all in all, it's a very, very, very good system. Um, every All the welds were amazingly done. The packaging was amazing. The, the experience of opening the Army Tricks box, having a display case right at the top with the, um, with the key fobs, and the OBD2 dongle in a display box like you would see at a high-end car dealer if you got the keys to a car. That was amazing. All of the exhaust tips were wrapped in bubble wrap and, and packaged properly. There were no dings and dents. It actually showed up pretty quickly considering the pandemic from Vivid Racing. Um, so shout out to Vivid Racing. They, they actually had very good customer service through all of this. Um, I did have some shipping issues. I did have to go pick it up from FedEx in San Jose, California but that's nothing their fault. That's just because FedEx is overwhelmed right now. All in all, I'm very happy with the system compared to other exhaust systems I've had on M3s. I've had a status group A on my E46 header back. 
um, I would say it's definitely worth the extra money if you are looking for a Valvetronic exhaust. IPE is also another one that does a Valvetronic exhaust. They, it, it's, it comes from the same pretty much location in Taiwan, so I'm pretty sure they're ma manufactured in the same facility using the same materials, using the same uh, people working on the exhaust anyway. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. This probably went on about 20 minutes. Um, I haven't edited it yet, but I hope this kind of helped you guys. Nikita, do you want to say bye? Nikita also says bye, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys um, want to subscribe, I'm going to be posting more content on this YouTube channel now uh, that I have a uh, E92 M3 again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace out.